Well, we end today's show on a sad note. Like everyone, we were shocked to hear the sudden passing of Jim Flaherty, Canada's finance minister, until a few short weeks ago. Apparently, he was found deceased in his Ottawa condominium, suffering from a major heart attack. We're very sorry for his loss, and we offer our condolences to his family. Of course, it's a personal loss to them. He died at age 64. But it's a loss to all of us as well. Whether you're a liberal or conservative, the man helped steer Canada straight through some of the choppiest waters in our economic history. Not since the Great, Recess Great Depression of the 1930s has Canada and the world faced the troubles that we faced in the 2002 Great Recession. And while others lost their head in the madness of that moment, Jim Flaherty kept us steering straight, a steady hand on the tiller, a straight rudder. He did deviate from the original conservative plan. He spent more to stimulate the economy, but not in the reckless ways that other countries did. No massive new entitlement programs, no devastating large amounts of national debt. So it was because of that action, not because of luck, that Canada entered the recession later than other countries and got out of it earlier, and the recession was less deep. Those things don't happen by accident. They happen because of policy. Jim Flaherty's policy. He kept Canada strong, and we've emerged from it stronger than ever. So much so that Canada, little Canada, because of Jim Flaherty, is a role model to the world. In fact, the United Kingdom raided our central bank governor for their own. The first time they've ever done that, Canada is held up as a model in the G7 and other countries around the world. Our banks did not fail, unlike in the United States. We have no housing crisis like they did down there. Obviously, that goes to more people's credit than just the finance minister. But at the end of the day, it was him. He wasn't as flashy as other MPs. He was not as noisy, not as gossipy. But he did the job he needed to do. And all of us are grateful for that. We're very sorry for his early passing. And we share in the morning, Jim Flaherty, a great man, passed away today. Folks, I'm Ezra Levant. We fight for freedom on the show. And so we salute Mr. Flaherty. And we thank his family for allowing him to serve so publicly. Bye-bye. Thank you.